If you are asking yourself how the keyframes actually work in CapCut, then this is the only video you have to see. I'm going to teach you step by step how to do it in CapCut, from positioning the object from A to B, scaling the graphics or zooming the video, changing the color of the object or video, and how to smoothen the transitions of the objects. Keyframes are foundation for all motion graphics and they apply to almost all existing programs like Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects and others. What keyframe does is determine the beginning or the end of a change of an object or a video. But let me rather show you that in real action. First, I'm going to show you how to move object from point A to point B. I've imported a grid background and a car to my timeline already. And what we need to do is give a car a surface or a road. So go up to text, add default text, then hold the shift key and tap the minus sign a couple of times on your keyboard so you get this straight line through the whole screen. We can also add a little glow to our road, scroll down, click on glow, select the right option and set the range to 100 and intensity to 35. Move it down and extend it to the same length as the other clips. Move the car to the line and make it a little bit smaller. Now, to move the car from point A to point B, we have to move the playhead to the beginning and click keyframe on position. Then move your playhead to let's say 3 second mark. Remember the wipe number position which is minus 630. Move the car to point B, check the Y position number and adjust it to minus 630 if needed. So if we play this now, we have nice car movement from point A to point B. With that method you can animate whatever you want. Let's say you want to animate the sun going over the village. I have this village here and I want the sun to go from left to right side as a sunrise to sunset. I've also imported animated sun from Canva, so I'm going to drag it down. First we have to get rid of the green screen. So go up to remove BG, chroma key, click on the screen and set the intensity on 45. Shrink the sun and drag it to the left side. Then go to basic and click keyframe on transform. Or you could just click keyframe on position. Move your playhead to the end. Delete the right part of the sun clip with pressing W on your keyboard. Drag the sun to the right side and keyframe will be created automatically. If we play it now, you will see that the sun is moving in a straight line what we don't want. We want it to move in a curved line. So let's move playhead to the middle of the clip, move sun up a little bit and keyframe will be created. But again, if we play the clip, the sun is moving up and down but in a linear line. To make the sun move in a curved line, we need to right click on the sun, select Y axis, highlight the keyframe and click on auto curve. Then drag the right handle to the right a bit and left to left a bit. That will change the sun movement from linear to curved. Check it out! To make this thing even better, we can play around with opacity a little bit as the sun rises and when it's going down. So move to the beginning, highlight the village, go to blend, Drag the opacity down to 20 and click keyframe. Then move to the 2 second mark. Drag the opacity to 100. Go to 3 second mark. Click on keyframe at 100. Then move playhead to the end and drag the opacity to 20 again. What we did is we created a sunlight effect on a sunrise and sunset. Let us move to scaling and zooming. As you see here, I've imported a plane which now seems to be far in a distance. But with the scaling we will create a moving effect and we will think that the play is moving towards us. 
So, on the beginning of the clip, highlight the plane, click keyframe on transform, and move the playhead to the middle. Go on scale, and scale it to around 85, and pull the plane up so it's aligned with the line. We can do the same with the video if we want to zoom in or zoom out to get more attention. I have drone footage here that I got on pexels.com. Highlight the clip, move your playhead on the beginning and click keyframe on scale. Then move your playhead forward a little bit and click keyframe on scale again. Then move 10 frames forward. Increase the scale and keyframe will be created automatically. Then move your playhead. Click on keyframe at the same scale. Move 10 frames forward and reduce the scale on 100% again. If we play it now, you'll see a nice zoom and zoom out effect. Next thing what we can do with the keyframes is changing the colors. We can do that with the video or with the graphics. But let us stay with our drone footage here and say we want to go from color video to white and black. We can use the same keyframes as we did for zoom in and zoom out. So move to the beginning and move up to the right side and click on adjustment. Scroll down, click keyframe on saturation and do the same for the second keyframe. Then for the third keyframe, drag the saturation slider to minus 50. For the fourth keyframe, click keyframe also on minus 50. And for the last keyframe, set the saturation to zero. We will go from color video to white and black and back to color video. Now let me show you how to change the color in graphics. We will create a white ball by going up to text and write a dot. Increase the font size to 100 and drag it to the left side. Extend it to the end. Go to the right side. Scroll down and click keyframe on position. Move playhead to the 2 second mark and drag the ball to right hand side. Then again at 4 second mark, move the ball back to the start position. Move your playhead also to the beginning and copy the ball by pressing Command or Ctrl plus C and paste it with pressing Ctrl or Command plus V. Go to the right side and change the color. Then scroll down to Opacity, drag it all the way down and click on Keyframe. Move to the second keyframe, increase Opacity to 100, jump to the last keyframe and also click Keyframe on 100%. If you check it now, you'll notice that the ball changes its color from white to blue. The last thing I would like to show you is how to smooth the movement of the graphic with the keyframe animation graphs. We will start with our white ball, but as you see I've added keyframe on every 2 second mark and move the ball to other side at every keyframe. So if you play it now, you'll see that the ball is moving with the same speed all the time. To smoothen this movement, we have to right click on the ball and choose Show Keyframe Animation. Make sure you're on X axis. Then go to the first keyframe so it, it is marked blue and click on Auto Curve. Do that for all keyframes so you get this nice curved line. Then right click and choose Hide Keyframe Animation. Play it now and you'll see the difference. Much smoother, right? One more thing I would like to show you. 
I have this nice little car here in our timeline and I would like that he stops at point B. But if we only put keyframes like this, one at the beginning and one at the end, you will see that the car stops suddenly, which looks unnatural. If we want to smoothen this stop, we again need to right click, show keyframe animation, click on X axis, highlight the last keyframe, go to this graph icon here and choose Ease Out 3 animation. And with that, we smoothen the car stop so it looks really realistic. Now let's say we want to animate the car as if it just drove off. We need to highlight the car, right click, show keyframe animation, then at X we need to uncheck the ease out animation, drag the car out of the screen and with the last keyframe highlighted go to graphs again and choose ease in one animation. So now we've created a realistic animation of the car that just drove off. Hope you learned something new again and I'm sure you can really upgrade your videos with that. Take care and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.